Hi guys, it's Lyric. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. Really glad to have you and I hope you stick along and enjoy my channel and my videos. So for today's video, I am basically going to be walking through my process of getting my permit and my license. I know it can be really different based on where you live, especially country-wise, but I just want to give you guys some insight on how the process was for me in case that process is somewhat the same as yours you could probably learn something get a few tips or be more prepared for getting your permit or your license if everything goes to plan in two days I will have my license I'm so excited I'm kind of nervous but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pass it and I'm really really excited like I can't even I'm just oh it's gonna be so great to be able to get in a car by myself or with friends and go somewhere fun I'm just so excited so enough rambling let's get into the video so I asked you guys on my YouTube community tab and on my Instagram stories for some questions um, about me getting my permit and my license so I'm gonna try to answer these to the best of my ability I know the process I went through compared to some of my friends was much easier I took a class online and it was like a parent taught driver's ed kind of thing and it was a lot easier than it would have been if I actually went to a class like where you actually attend and there's a teacher so that's a little rundown if you're wondering if I did online or went to a real class I did online I'm going to start with my Instagram ones that I received and the first one says are you naturally good at driving or did it take a lot of practice so <laughs> I don't really know what good is like I don't really know what you would consider good um but I would say I was probably in between I was wasn't horrible like I had a good idea of everything all of the controls how to use things but I wasn't amazing when I first started driving it definitely takes some practice but one of my tips is just practice 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 the more you practice the better you're going to get that's honestly like when you do have your permit, practice as much as you can. Take every opportunity because the practice, I keep saying practice, but practicing does make it a lot easier. I feel like that's probably kind of obvious, but it is true. The more you practice, it gets so much easier. But I hope I answered your question. I kind of strayed from it, but I think I was in the middle between horrible and between amazing. So, yeah. The next question is, what's the rundown of the test? So, I have not taken my license test yet because... The way I have! So, both for my permit and my license test, I took them both through Aceable. That is what I did my course through. And it also comes on the App Store, so I did basically all of it on my phone. And both of the tests were only, I think... The permit test was 10 questions and I don't remember how many it was for my license but they were both so easy and I would highly recommend if Aceable is available where you live. I don't know if it's just Texas, I'm not sure, but I would highly recommend it because it was not super hard and it wasn't like super super e actually it was pretty easy but it taught everything it needed to teach so yeah both of the tests were really easy for me and I passed them first try you can take as many tries as you have to but both attempts were pretty easy for me like it wasn't hard at all the next question is what is the hardest thing about driving um hmm. let me think I've got it for me Parallel parking is so hard. I, Some people are just so good at it. Other people, they just didn't have it coming for them. And I feel like that was kind of me. It definitely takes practice. I mean, that's kind of obvious. But <laughs> parallel parking was so hard for me. Everything else is actually not that hard once you practice it a lot. I practice in a parking lot, multiple parking lots, a lot before I was allowed to go on the actual road and for some reason driving on the highway is easier than in a parking lot for me because parking lot you have to look out for all the cars backing out you have to go slow you have to speed up you have to do all this stuff 
and you have to back out of your parking space when you're on the highway you just got to stay in your lane check your sir really like i was saying you have to just check your surroundings and make sure you stay in your lane so and stay up to the speed limit but I thought parking lot was much harder, but definitely parallel parking is where I was slacking a little bit. Next one says, not a question, but you and Sadie Aldis are getting me hyped for when I can drive. Honestly, yes, Sadie is getting me so hyped, and like, I love watching videos where people drive to places. I feel like that's kind of weird, but I think it's so much fun to be able to drive and run errands by yourself. I don't know, I just think that kind of stuff is fun. But I'm glad we're getting you hyped to drive, so you better get your license too. I'll be watching you. Just kidding. Now I'm moving on to the community tab, like the YouTube questions. So the first one says, who was the first person that you drove in a car with? My mother. I drove with my mom for the first time. I can't remember it clearly actually, but I know I drove with her quite a lot before I drove with my dad. And the first time I drove with my dad, um, he was like, let's drive to this store. And I was like, dad, I've only been driving in parking lots. He's like, it's okay, you can do it. So... I'm kind of glad I started out with my mom because my dad is really confident in me, which is good. It pushed me and I did succeed and stay alive, as you can tell. But yeah, I drove with my mom first. And also my sister was along with me for a lot of my driving experiences, especially at the beginning. So let's just give a round of applause for her because that could have been life threatening. The next question I got says, what app do you recommend to study for your permit if you've used one? So I didn't really study because I did all of my course through Aceable and took the test on Aceable. I'm going to show you guys what the app looks like so you can know what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like. It's this app right here at the bottom in the middle. That is the app that I use and I would highly recommend it. It's just been so great and it's really easy to work with so that is really all that i use to study for my permit and my license test so that is all of the questions that i received i'm just going to tell you a little bit about my process so the first thing i learned was driving in parking lots that was the first place i practiced it's just really nice because especially if you can find a open parking lot where it's not being used like I used my brother and sister's old school because on the weekends no one's at school so I practice a lot and it's just really nice to practice turning around staying in your lane so if you have a parking lot near you definitely start out with that and another thing you should learn at the beginning is all of your functions like your lights your like your bright lights your turn signals your windshield wipers and air conditioning, all that kind of stuff, the brakes, the emergency brake, the deets of the car. So after I learned how to drive in a parking lot, I practiced that for quite a while. I went on simple roads around my house. My house is such a good place to practice because we have a fast road right here. And then on this side of my subdivision, we have the parking lot I practice at and a little bit slower roads. I was pretty blessed to have really good places to practice, but after you master the parking lot, I would recommend trying to find a slower road because it just it's nice to be able to be on a real road, but one that's not very busy. Like start out with maybe a subdivision or something like that and then go to an actual road that's just not busy and kind of ease your way into it. Just make sure you feel confident when you're on the road. So when I went on the highway for my first time, my mom had really built me up to be ready for that. We had practiced a lot. I was ready for the highway. And when I got on, I was a little nervous, but I did really well. It was pretty smooth. I did a pretty good job. And I think that's because my mom was really good at making sure we went through the steps correctly and built up the courage to be able to drive on the highway. One thing I would recommend that I did not do was start parallel parking as soon as you can, I would say as soon as you're confident with backing up and normal parking, 
definitely start it because you can never get too much practice on that i haven't had too much practice on it and that's the main thing i'm nervous for on my test but i'm going to practice it tomorrow and my test is the next day so i'm just gonna pray that i master it and i do a great job but definitely try to practice parallel parking as soon as you can because it's good to have that mastered and feel confident about it when going into your test i have not taken my license driving test yet i've taken like the written portion but i'm taking the driving test as you know and i'm just gonna give some advice for you and for myself because i haven't taken it yet but i would say just try to stay calm i've seen so many videos where people freak out don't and it's better to go a little slower than going fast because if i go faster than the speed limit i get points taken off but if i go slower i don't so just go slow always be checking always stop behind crosswalks or where people walk and then inch forward and look left and right you can never be too careful i don't know why i shook my head like that i was like showing you looking left and right but that is something i'm going to really focus on taking my time looking being very safe you want your instructor who's in the car to not feel like they are going to die so that is one of my goals i'm just going to take it slow I'll be checking behind you looking in your mirror your side mirrors and when you get to a stop make sure you're looking left right left or right left something like that so just be careful really that's what i'm going to focus on for my test so that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I honestly didn't really think I should make this video because I didn't think it would be fun or entertaining to watch. But I asked you guys and you said you wanted to see it. So I made it for you guys and I really hope it was helpful. I hope you got a lot of good information, took some notes, and really process the information that I gave you. And I hope it helps you out when you have your permit or your driver's test, any of your license tests and that kind of stuff i really hope it helps you and that you get some knowledge from it also um random note i'm super excited for christmas um i just can't wait i'm so excited and i'm so excited for the christmas videos it's going to be so awesome guys i cannot wait anyways i'm getting off topic I'm so sorry if you have any Christmas video ideas comment down below what you want me to film I know a lot of you guys want me to film another baking video with my sister because you really liked that video so I'll try to make that happen but yeah enough rambling I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye